Hello YouTube, in this quick GPU test, I'm going to be adding the Asus Dual OC RTX 3060 to my rendering benchmark results for Blender renders. Um, this is a super popular GPU, so I thought that it would make sense to go ahead and grab one and add it to the data. The first test is the classroom. Um, the 3060 finished this in 29 seconds, which makes it just a few seconds faster than the 2060 Super and slightly slower than the 7800 XT, which was definitely a big surprise. Um, at any point in this video, go ahead and pause it and look at the other data if you want to. We'll go on to the barbershop. So again, you can see that surprisingly, the 3060 is just a little bit slower than the 7800 XT, which is uh, a lot newer and quite a bit more expensive and it just barely beats out the 6800 XT in this test. Now we'll look at Lone Monk which is the heaviest test that I run normally and you can see here that the AMD GPU um, the 7800 XT pulled away quite a bit in this heavier test so it seems like the additional cores definitely make a big difference in such a heavy test. Um, but interestingly, the 3060, which you can see here in yellow, still beat my old 2080 Ti Kingpin by about 12 seconds. Definitely a pretty fast little card for what it is. And finally, we'll look at the scan lands results. Um, here, the 3060 is just slightly faster than the 7800 XT, which is really interesting again, but... Um, this is what I got. The other interesting GPUs in this range are uh, the 4060 Ti 16 gig is quite a bit faster than the 3060 here. And the Intel Arc A770 uh, is actually fairly competitive with the 3060. And even today, the Arc GPU is cheaper than the RTX 3060. So there's a pretty good debate to be had between buying those. So go back and pause it if you'd like to see where all the other cards stack up. Uh, but that's it for this one. This is just supposed to be a super quick uh, addition of data to the chart. Um, one other request I've got recently is to throw this spreadsheet onto a Google Drive link so that people can view it um, more as like a live document. So I'm gonna try to figure out how to do that soon and then I will share that in uh, some of the descriptions for these videos and then maybe on a community post here soon. So watch for that. Otherwise, that's it for this one. Super simple. Thanks for watching.